trust him. It's like a, like a blessing in disguise. It's gnarly sometimes, but at the same time, you have to realize how sick it is out here. It's just hard because I've lived here for 16 out of 18 years. There's nothing at all to do, like really. So, yeah. When it rains for two weeks, you're just down. You are down, and then just like that first fucking sunny day. Like the cloudy days are alright. Like those are sick too, because it's not wet. But sometimes it's just too cold to even dry up. So that's kind of even more of a bummer. But sunny days, dude. That's oh, I can't even describe how good it is. Fuck yeah. Wildlife, it's like it's almost a part of Forks. I mean, it is a part of Forks because there's always elk in town and you just always have to watch out for them. But it's pretty sick that they're just that comfortable because you're not allowed to hunt them when they're inside the city, obviously. But then there's like the elk are the most obvious ones, but there's also there's deer, there's bear, cougars, mountain lion, whatever you want to call it, and then uh, rabbits, squirrels. All sorts of birds. Eagles are sick. And the blue herons. Those things are bad. <laughs> they look like, uh, like pterodactyls. Fishing's awesome. Don't kill again, huh? What's that, dude? I probably should do it now. When it stops raining, forks go skate. Hopefully there's people at the park, that's the, you know, you do your thing in the morning, get shit ready, then you make the everything just as quick as possible, get out the door, cruise up to the park, just like, you're walking through the baseball fields, kind of peek over the hill, see if you can see anyone's heads over there, you see a bunch of people, you hear the boards, and you're stoked.
the jalapeno, dude. It was just, I saw him, like, you could see he was looking at that coping when he do his front side carves. Then, like, I told told you to get the camera, you know, just even, like, point it at him just to get him stoked. And, you know, I told him I had a little, little heart to heart with him right before he got it. You know, first thing he does, cruise it around, little, get that front slash, dude. First, first try. That's what he does. It's just like, that's what I'm talking about, though. It's just like, how good of a feeling it is for both of you. It's just, it's sick. And you were there, too, to experience how rad it is. Just like everyone, everyone vibes off of it. Yeah, the skate community, it's like, it's been around for a while. There's been like skaters since before the park. They're just like 10 years back even from before I started skating. All even further back. But they had their own crew together. And then like, when I was 10, we had our crew together. Tanner House, Dane House, Jacob Anderson, Weecho, Martin. Uh, just then whoever else would tag along to come skate with us. And it was just like... I was sick and forks, and then later on we got the park, and just, those dudes all quit except for Dane. So now it was like me and Dane at the park. And then, like a few years, like, probably even a year into it, just like little kids, you could just tell they're into it. So you have to like, get them inspired to skate. Just, just keep teaching the trick. It's, it's so good to like, feel so good to teach them how to skate. And now they're older. And seeing how and how they've progressed over the years, it's so it's just indescribable. Yeah. Featuring. Let's try.